in my theory, your mindset and how do you tackle this, how you make choices about your channel and how you're going to move on on what you're doing. We're going to talk about this very, very hot topic and it's been a while but i just kind of like i've always don't want to talk about something just because it's hot i feel this is very important not just for youtubers alone but i think it's all in general like the things like my theory of why people quit not just on youtube but most of the things that you do in career wise so i just wanted to kind of like explore this because this could be really really deep Aww. it's very very important to kind of like tackle this in a way where we can explore the reasons why and i wanted to know if you can actually notice what i've noticed throughout the years while i'm also streaming and having my own youtube channel so this is also not for just big youtubers this is also for small youtubers and the difference of why people do quit on something that they are supposed to love i don't know about you guys but i've been binging a lot of this stuff and it's it's something of like an interest and i hope it could do justice because my brain is already like running like super fast so i hope my mouth can catch up with my brain again <laughs> do you think i see me i am i like this question having less subscribers and views on a particular video could make a good youtuber quitting or having their channel being hacked could make them want to quit this is one of the things that i really really talked about especially for small youtubers like me when you start to be a youtuber a streamer anything in this kind of platform twitch Arigato! i really felt that even though at first you just wanted to do something that you're so passionate about and i'm not talking about the people who comes in this for business who comes in the thought of i want to earn a lot of money from youtube we're not talking about that i'm gonna kind of focus on the question on the people that are started with passion <laughs> you would probably stumble a lot of streams that are promoting your channel even before i always felt kind of like conflicted about this because for one you know we have community guidelines and all of that you know in every platform we have so i always thought it's not really effective like that i mean in the temporary short amount of time you're gonna earn a lot of subscribers and a lot of views but if you really want to be successful on something that you're doing on YouTube, you need a community on YouTube. You have to interact with people. Even though you're going to have all of these subscribers, especially with the short content form that we're having right now on YouTube as well, they're focusing on short so that they could compete with TikTok. You're going to have like this tendency to always look for the views, for the subscribers. I'm going to say this into comments. A lot of my fellow Filipino are gonna relate to this more so i'm gonna speak on my <laughs> language again tagalog because i want to really reach out to you guys small youtubers like me sa mga kababayan kong pilipino ay <laughs> at sa ating mga small youtuber na nasa lapagan dikitan mga ganitong komunidad lagi ko tong sinasabi guys ang banana palamuti lang yan diba Ito lagi ko sinasabi, umpisang umpisa pa lang. Makakakilala ka man, mangisda ka man ng marami kung hindi ka nag -e explore Kung hindi mo talaga pinagtutuunan ng pansin. At ito lang sinasabi ko guys, ha? ito eh, hindi kasali dito yung mga talagang nag-umpisa dahil sa pera. Ang pinag-uusapan natin dito is yung mga nag-umpisa dahil sa passion nila, dahil gusto nila, di ba? Kung baga parang nag-umpisa sa isang hub. Kung ngayon, kung nag-umpisa kayo dahil gusto nyong kumita, hindi ko sinasabi na masama yun, pero hindi ko rin isasali <laughs> sa sasabihin ko ngayon. Pagdating sa mga banana, masarap sa pakiramdam na marami kang banana. Pero kung gusto mong mag-succeed sa kung anuman, kung anuman ang ginagawa mo dito sa YouTube, palamuti lang yan. Kasi doon mo makikita yung views. Kung talagang pinapanooran ka ng mga tao at yung pakikipagkapwa-tao mo. Ang lapagan dikitan para sa akin umpisa't umpisa pa lang, nakita ko to bilang isang oportunidad para makakilala ng maraming tao, makipagkapwa-tao. 
At sa dalawang taon ko sa komunidad na ito, nakita ko kung gaano karami ang nag-stop dahil iba ang expectations nila. Kahit gaano pa kataas yan, ang importante kasi is yung binabalik-balikan kayo. Kasi kahit gaano pa kadami ang banana ninyo, kung hindi kayo panunuuran, hindi kayo babalikan, hindi yan ipropromote ni Lolo. Yun yung labanan. Ang hirap magtagalog guys. Grabe. Ang hirap na hirap ako doon. Ayan. Good job this. I'm a little bit nervous about this conversation because I don't want to rob someone in the wrong way. These are just my opinions. You could always disagree with it. We don't have to take these things that I'm going to say personal. Because this is just exploration. This is just a theory. This is just my observation alone. And I'm not going to insist my point of view with you guys. I just want you to open your mind. Because I feel like I'm so nervous right now to talk about this. Because I don't want to come up with you guys that I'm talking about this. Because this is very trending. You can see it. This is just an interest of mine that I've been wanting to talk about. But I just don't know how. Because for one... I'm small YouTuber. I know that I'm going to have a lot of, you know, like a lot of people will probably comment why I'm talking about this. I'm not even there yet, you know, so I don't have that. And let's face it, the sad reality of life is like if you even talk honesty, if you talk the real truth, but there's no subscribers that followed you, you are the smallest of the smallest. People usually don't listen to you. And if you're here right now with moi, I hope you can at least understand, comprehend, and explore and be open with what I'm going to say. Because a lot of people are saying the same thing as I've said. You know, even big YouTubers, you could hear this from them as well. And I've been saying this for the longest time. And I hope exploration or like talking about it, having a healthy discussion about it would actually open your mind if you're a YouTuber of how you're going to tackle your channel from now on and also for viewers for people who are struggling right now i hope this also implements on your life you don't have to be a youtuber a content creator because this is also a job for a lot of people this is the only source of their income if they're full-time youtubers so i think this is also correlates with people that are working nine to five eight to five people like that so i'm really really very kind of like passionate about this talk because i've been kind of like bubbling this inside of me for the last year yeah it's actually good that it's being lightened up right now so i just want to magnify it and i just want to tackle the psychological and the mental you know like the the mindset that a lot of people are being trapped with i'm pretty sure if you're a youtuber if even if you're just doing this like like me i'm doing this start as a kind of like a passion a hobby and even now it's still a passion and a hobby for me but there's a lot of distractions that could happen in this journey alone i need to talk about it <laughs> ayan eh kung sa inyo guys nanlalamig yung kamay ko talaga grabe ayan kasi ang dami ko gusto lang sabihin so parang ngayon tamang tama yung pagkakataon kasi ang daming taong nagsasalita tungkol dito and i think panahon na para pag-usapan to dahil talagang yung mental health ng isang tao is also kind of like connected into this in my theory your mindset and how do you tackle this how you make choices about your channel and how you're gonna move on on what you're doing